Hi there, I'm Alan. And uh, I want to show you what we, uh, we do to clear the ants out of the pool. Yeah, we get a lot uh, We get a lot of ants. I'll show you the ants that we get. We got more too. They don't get in the house. And uh, well, they did one time, but I found the trail and I cut the trail off. And that was a few years back. And but as long as they stay outside, that's fine. But I don't, I don't want them in the pool. When you swim in the pool and have all the ants floating around you, it's just nasty. Yeah, it's nasty. So, let me show you what we uh, done here. Okay, what we're doing here, we're going to make a netting system to catch ants and, and debris in the swimming pool. Correct? Correct, yeah. Yeah, ready? Yep. Mm-hmm. Now you see we cut the handle off first and then we cut the bottom with our multi-tool. Yeah, what we do is uh, we're taking, uh, put a rope, put a rope from here to here. And that way I can kind of get my gauge for this thing bobbles up and down. Alan can show you outside what uh, uh, the one out there looks like. It's, it's old uh, chlorine tends to attack PVC over long term. I think I made that bucket about 10 years ago. So it was kind of an emergency fix. There's nothing on the market for a uh, gazillion ants falling in the water. And what we use is the old uh, cl uh, chlorine bucket there. Yeah, cheap. It's recycled. It's called recycling. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, I got to go drill holes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put rivets. Uh, I haven't got the rivets available. We'll continue on this. But I'll put uh, four rivets around this. And then I can take a, a, a knee-high or a thigh-high nylon. I, I, I like the thigh-high because then the ants go out and they can't you can't really crawl back up and like the knee high, the knee high, they tend to want to, this doesn't dip far enough to cut them off. And then there's not an air pocket. I, I don't know. I'm still, after all these years, I'm still tweaking this thing. So, okay. Okay. Now we're going to put the, uh, the rivets in. No, not yet. Not yet. I got to go drill. Oh, that's right. Uh, I need, I need a fan. I'm melting. Get, we're getting the drill bit for the right size for the rivet, and then we're going to drill holes in it in the bucket. So what are you looking for? My mind. Where's my mind at? Where did I put my mind? Let's see here. All right. Is that right? That yeah. Good. And one in here. Mm -hmm. I should probably measure just for shits and giggles. So we're making one inch uh, markings along the bottom. And we're even up with these tabs here too. What's important for this here, because 
that's basically the water line. Just piece of wood for a backer here. Oh, I what? forget. What? Oh, you need the bigger set. <laughs> Duh. I, I forget. Don't do as we do. Well, it's been a year since I've done this. It's not like I've done it yesterday. Oh, my eyes are burning. Oh. Oh, it's this one. Here we are. Had to get the right size drill bit. Sort of. Remember, don't get a drill bit for the skinny part here. You need it for this part here. <laughs> oh, put the drill bit in. Well, you probably don't don't need that board now because you already got the whole drill. You just got widen it. Well, Alan, do you want me to smack it on the metal? Just hold it in the air. Hold it in the air. Yeah. Where's it at? Where's uh, that? Oh, there it is. Okay. Here we go. Part two. Are you kidding me? I make the hole a little bit wider. That drill bit. Next, next bit. I'm melting. It's not that hot. No, it's not. It's for me, but it's not for you. Alright, next one. We'll get it there. This video is not practice for us. Uh. Maybe put four holes around it. Go that way, you want to go the other way. Anybody look at the one outside? Well, if I go this way, then oh, I'd... yeah, okay, that's right. No, you have to go from the inside. I have to go from the inside, yeah, inside. But that's going to squish it down. This night, I cut it off. Oh, okay. You done it before? I haven't. I think, I think that's how I did it. I think, I think, I think. Yeah. And then we just take a a cutter. Yeah, we don't um. Do the uh, ribbons where it uh, uh, breaks that piece off. You just have it tight on her. Mm 
Sound good? Then yeah. maybe I can uh, kind of round those. Now remember, don't snap the ends off if you try to make one of these. Oh, I know where that wrench went. It has a pocket right here. Yeah. I just don't have it in it. Yeah. Probably laying in my toolbox somewhere. Yeah, it falls out. Smash that just down. Oh, yeah. More. yeah. Well, let's go ahead and get this on then. Cool. Come on. Yeah. Actually, yeah. Makes a little mark right there. Huh. Yeah. If it falls out, we'll put it in a little more. Okay. Okay. Uh, screwdriver. Possibly. Like no little tabs out of this sizer. Yeah, I gotta get some milk. Well, I guess we could just use this one. Huh? Is that long enough? I got that rope from that old dog leash too. All right, I want to try something. Okay. Oh, you can try to put a float in there or something? We're going to try something different, too, on this one here than what we had on the other one. You still got them peanuts? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I want one of those, too. Just one pin? Well, maybe two. I'm going to put it in the sock. Okay. All recycled. Yeah, we, we save stuff. We recycle stuff as we use them.
Mm. Let me walk up. Hmm. What? I want that on the inside. Oh, do you? You're going to come out the outsider. Probably should have went this way. Let me get you a hook. Oh. You might need some, some kind of a hook to put your string back in the same hole again to go around the bucket. Mm -mm. No way. Oh, and that came out. Huh. Ain't that nice. We got some more from Harbor Freight. You will train easy on. All right, let's do it this way. Let's make it easy on myself. Come on. There we go. And how do I do that on this side? <laughs> you, well, this side here, you just go on this side. Trying to use these... Uh, Foam pieces for a little uh, floats. Keep the top of the bucket up a little bit. Is this something new we're trying on this one? Yeah, it doesn't mean it's going to work.
Yep. How am I going to do that? Oh, well. It's an old fashioned square knot. It is what it is. I'll tell you what we do. Let's just do this. Tiny short, ain't it? Uh -uh, I don't okay. Guess. Not bad. Not bad at all. Is it straight? Uh, a little off. Let's, let's try it. Okay, what we're doing, we're going to replace this one here. The, the bucket's cracked after, after about 10 years. And what it does is catches the ants in the pool. We, we get a lot of ants. Yeah, ants and leaves. We get a lot of ants. And this year is worse than, than ever for ants. You can see you can see ants crawling on the buckets too. Yeah, then they're all full of ants. The end of the nylon there. And this I is. I didn't. Oh, you didn't uh, foul those down. No, I didn't. And this is what the uh, rivets is for to hold the, the nylon stocking on. So the nylon stocking doesn't slide off. Oh. What these. And these uh, foam peanuts here you get with packing and stuff, we're trying something new here. But I don't think that stocking is falling down in the water, though. No, it's staying up. No, it's not that. Uh, oh, okay. But this is our old one. Let's see how, how good I did for, for guesstimating. Yep, look at that. Now that's going to catch all the uh, debris and ants that fall in the pool, floats in the pool. That's what happens. See, this here starts to separate, and then it just squirts out the ants, or they crawl out. Or... Not anymore. And at the end here, we we made a we put a nozzle on it, and then we put a metal hook on it to hold the bucket. A little better look at it here. This piece of number eight galvanized uh, clothesline wire is what that is. All right, I'm gonna throw this away. I'm done. Okay. And I hope you liked the video. I hope it helped you in order to try to keep your pool a lot cleaner. Especially if you get a lot of ants like we have, especially this year.
it's been hot and dry this year and all this black stuff you see here is dead ants we usually water hose them off the, the sidewalk all dead ants yeah here's more dead ants we never had so many ants before but it's been so hot and dry I guess that's what brings the ants out. I don't know, but it's all dead ants. Get them everywhere.